My name is uh, Alan Evans. I'm a professor of neurology, psychiatry, and biomedical engineering at McGill University. Um, I work at the Montreal Neurological Institute. Le premier accomplissement souligné par le jury de Québec Science, la réalisation d'un atlas interactif du cerveau humain. Le projet Big Brain, c'est un genre de Google Map pour voyager dans le labyrinthe des neurones. When people have been studying the brain, they're typically using atlases that were created over 100 years ago. And they did this work based on looking down a microscope and looking at a few characteristics of a few cells in a few areas of the brain. So this was very much uh, an artist's impression of the brain. What we've done with this project is to create a three-dimensional map of the entire brain at uh, much higher resolution than's ever been done before. To build this three-dimensional atlas, uh, our colleagues in Germany took a human brain that was donated to science and they sectioned it into 7,000 400 slices, 20 microns thick, and to give you context, that's about as thick as saran wrap. So you imagine trying to put 7,000 of these back together again. They're all wrinkled and crinkled and distorted, and we had to, to put this all back together again using some high-level computational mathematical procedures to fix all of the errors in this data and reconstitute it into a three-dimensional whole that you could search through in real time. My particular interest in using this kind of data is to help us to better interpret the brain mapping research that we do using our MRI scanners and PET scanners. It, it's a better way of understanding the results we get using in vivo experiments using this atlas. However, we also have uh, a lot of interest from neuroanatomists who want to understand how the brain is organized, from neurosurgeons who want to use this atlas as a guide in the operating theater, and we have colleagues in, in France who are using this as a basic teaching tool. We can use these mapping techniques, the combination of imaging and high-performance computation mathematics statistics, to study any organ system. We use it to study the brain, but the same principles can be applied to study the heart, or the lungs, or the spine, or the liver, any organ in the body. Music